Hello Stampers! Welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to show you how to make this great flower and hopefully you'll pick up some tips along the way that you can use not only for this flower but also for some of your other stamping projects. I began with my Daisy's number no. 2 die for the Big Shot. You can see that this is a very well-loved die. I use it quite a bit. And I went ahead and ran it through the Big Shot with pumpkin pie cardstock and I made two of the largest flowers, two of the middle-sized flowers, and two of the smallest flowers. What we're going to do next is we're going to take our I Love Love wheel, and you'll notice I don't have a cartridge in this wheel. That's fine. We're going to actually ink it up with some real red ink. What I'm going to do is just open up the stamp pad. I find it works best if you have it horizontal to your wheel and I'm just going to ink up the wheel by rolling this wheel into that ink pad quite a bit get that all inked up then I'm just going to come right here to my paper I'm going to start by placing the wheel down on my paper with some nice heavy pressure and just wheel straight up across those flowers I'm going to give myself a little bit more ink and come over here to this edge make sure we get that edge and also on this side and we'll go ahead and ink up the small flowers as well. Once these are wheeled what we want to do is glue them together and how I'm going to do that is using the Tombow Mono Multi Glue. I love it for this project. We're going to put a little bit of glue right onto the center of the flower. You don't need a lot, just a little bit and we're going to place this second large flower, not directly on top like this, but we're going to skew it just a little bit so that the petals go into the spaces in between and we're going to push that together. Next we're going to do the exact same thing to the middle size flower. So again, just a little bit of glue and the second one of that size and again into the spaces so that it's a little bit skewed. And finally to the small one. Okay, once we've done that what we want to do is take our sponge and here's a great tip for you. I don't know about you and how you go about sponging but I like to buy Stampin' Up! sponges and you'll notice this one is now half a sponge. What I like to do is cut these sponges up into small wedges like this and then I can get a lot of distance out of my sponges. I was running into a problem though because I keep all of these sponges in a little bucket like a Tupperware and what I was finding is I couldn't tell exactly what color they were and I try to write on the side of them but sometimes I couldn't read that. So a great tip that we were shown at Leadership was to take your round tab punch, punch the color of cardstock that matches the ink color of that sponge, and then we're just going to put this round tab right on the end of that sponge and staple it. Really, really simple tip, but it was one of those aha moments for me where it was like, oh, how brilliant. So I now do that with all of my sponges so that it, they're a lot easier to find. You can also place them upright in a drawer then and sort them by color family. So we're going to take a little bit more real red to give this flower some dimension and we're just going to go ahead and sponge. And we're kind of going to sponge the edges. I like to sponge going down and a little bit sideways to catch some of the edge. But you'll notice how that's really making that flower start to pop. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do this to all three layers of this flower. And again, comparing those colors, you can see how much really great color that extra sponging adds to the flower. The next step we're going to do is actually put this flower together and we're going to go back to using our Tombow Mono Adhesive. So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue again in the center of the largest flower. And we're going to take the middle flower, kind of set that right in the center, and go ahead and push. If you want to line up your circles in the back, you can do that also, whatever you'd like. I don't mind if it's a little bit off-center. And then we're going to put that top layer 
on here. The next thing I like to do, I call it fluffing my flower. I'm not sure if that's a technical term or not. Um, but I like to just hold this in the middle. I like to pinch it with my middle finger and my thumb. And as I'm holding it, then I just use these other fingers to pull up on all of those petals. And really give some good pressure to fluff that flower up. And go all the way around. And it starts to give the flower some nice dimension. The next thing that I like to do to make this flower a little bit sparkly, and we all love a little bit of bling, a little bit of sparkle, I've taken a small spray bottle that I bought at the drugstore, and I filled it with regular rubbing alcohol. And then I went ahead and took some of our Champagne Shimmer Mist paint, and this goes a very long way, even though it's a, quite a small bottle. I put like a quarter teaspoon or so into this spray bottle. You can kind of see it at the bottom here. As this just sits, it will settle. Um, but what you want to do is just shake that up so that you're mixing that paint throughout the alcohol. And now you've got a shimmer mist spray. I like to spray it in a box. If you spray it outside of the box, you're going to get shimmer everywhere. So let me grab just a small box. I just put my flower in there and give it, I like four sprays. That seems to be the lucky number for me. And you might want to give it some time to dry. I find that I can still go ahead and work on the flower, even with it being a little bit wet, probably because this is so many layers of cardstock, six layers. Um, but you get this really, really nice shimmer going on. What I want to do now is show you the center of this flower, and this was a big aha moment for me, because I, was, I made this part of the flower to actually use as part of a gift wrap for a gift that I'll be giving later on today to a friend for his birthday. And I was thinking, oh great, I don't have a red button, I don't have an orange button, what am I going to do? Well, what I did have are these corduroy pretty in pink buttons. And so I took one out and I kind of thought to myself, mm, not so sure that I like the pink. It's kind of pretty, but mm, I really wish I had a different color button. Well, we are stamping up and we've got all kinds of colors. And I realized what I could do is use the colors of my ink to actually color this button. So I took a wedge and I took my real red sponge, and you can use sponges for both of these. I just didn't happen to have a um, pumpkin pie uh, sponge made up already. And you're just going to use a little bit of ink. So ink up your sponge and then just run it across. Right? Just kind of dab it on your pretty and pink button. And as you can see, we're starting to get different color on our button. I imagine you could do this with some of the other color corduroy buttons and that the lighter the button the more apt it is to work. Then I'm gonna just add some pumpkin pie ink on top of there to give it a little bit more um, color that will match my flower. And if you were feeling so inclined you can also go ahead and actually spray this button with some of the shimmer mist as well, which I happen to do too. So I just take that little bucket again. This time I held it so I get to be pretty and full of shimmer and gave it a little spray, which also kind of bleeds the ink just a little bit together and makes it look really nice. So now you've got a button that actually matches your flower. And all you do, since that's a button that's a brad, is you just separate the prongs on the back and voila! And again you can go ahead and fluff to your heart's content. You can sponge a little more if you're so inclined. Um, but these are great for cards, also really really nice for gift wrapping packages uh, and for other 3D items that you might make. And that's all I have for you today. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope to see you soon back in my studio. Have a great day!